So it is March 1st, 2016, and I just lost uh, power to my home because we're having another bad windstorm. And here is the dining room exit sign running on battery backup. It's uh, your typical modern LED exit sign with red letters. I like it. And the power's off over here by the um, by the sliding glass door I have a um, another one except this time around it's got uh, emergency lights on the sides of it and it, you know it's also got battery backup obviously because it's got to light the lights up and then to keep the sign on so it's in good standing over here Hello, Mabel. Over here, we have uh, the smoke detector. Of course, it's not working because the power went out, but I think it still has a battery in it, so. Here is another one of those LED exit signs. It has emergency lights on the sides of it that are five watts each, and they are incandescent. Going into the bathroom, I have an LED emergency light, can't really see it, except for the spotlights on it, lighting up the bathroom. And there's the one by the front door. Coming over here to the kitchen, we have another LED exit sign with red letters, and it's your modern day exit sign, except this one has the test button here and the LED are separate, unlike the one back in the dining room where the LED is a test button too. Here in the laundry room, I have a LED exit sign with LED emergency lights lighting up right there and right there. And if you go through this door, you see the bathroom one and in the one in the living room. So, I'm going to go ahead and tour you out to the garage to show you the exit sign and emergency light out there. So let's go take a look. Gotta get this camera to kind of focus, there it goes. It's a beautiful day outside, actually. And see the power is off because of a windstorm, otherwise there'd be numbers here and that would be moving. Alright, touring out to the garage. Now things have changed out here. I used to have a LED exit sign with four or five watt uh, emergency lights on the sides of it there, but it stopped working so I replaced it with just a typical exit sign like what you saw up in the dining room. Uh, this one, I don't have the Romex cable to hook it up right now, um, so it's, it hasn't been hooked up, so it's been out for a while. However, here in on one of the rafters, I have a emergency exit light with four or five watt LED, or not LED, but incandescent lights on them, on it, I'm sorry. It's pretty bright and it's one of my favorite emergency lights and I like the low price of them. So I'm definitely going to be getting some more of these. I got one right here. That light is lighting up right there. You can see the chair and the mop bucket and the barbecue kind of. And then over here, this one's obviously lighting a path up towards the, the door kind of. And you can see the fire alarm system. And of course this whole half of the garage is dark. These little lights you see right there, those are actually holes that were drilled uh, for things that were on the outside or inside at the time for wiring at one point. So, yeah. Thank you for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, goodbye. But I'll let you see the light from this point though. Alright, now thank you for viewing. Have a good day. Bye-bye.